you spin up a few taste environments. Someone forgets to shut one down. A cost spike hits your Azure bill and no one show it coming. Does this sound familiar? Surplus cloud bills are still a thing today. For teams trying to balance innovation with financial discipline, the Azure budget feature offers a first line of defense against surprise cloud cost. Managing cost in the cloud is crucial for organizations to avoid unexpected billing surprises. Microsoft Azure provides powerful tools like budgets and cost alerts that help you track and control your spending effectively. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will walk you through how to configure Azure budgets and set up cost alerts using the Azure portal. Why it's important to set up budgets and alerts? Stay informed before you exceed your spending limit. Forecast future expenses based on current usage. Notify stakeholders or departments responsible for specific subscriptions or resource groups. Integrate with automation tools to shut down or scale resources when budget thresholds are breached. Before we begin, make sure you have an active Azure subscription. At least cost management contributor or owner access to the subscription or resource group you want to monitor. In the first step, we need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. To create a view budget, open a scope in the Azure portal and select budgets in the menu. For example, navigate to subscriptions, select a subscription from the list and then select budgets in the menu. Use the scope pill to switch to a different scope like a management group in budgets. Step 1. Go to cost management and billing. Go to portal menu, click on cost management plus billing. You will be presented with a list of billing scopes. A billing scope identifies your access. You may have access to multiple billing scopes. For example, you may have a billing account that you use for your personal projects and have access to your organization's billing account. Click the billing scope account where you want to set up the budget and cost alert. Expand cost management and click on budgets. Step 2. Select the right scope. You need to choose the level at which your budget applies. Azure lets you define budgets across different scopes. Management Group is a top-level container used to organize multiple Azure subscriptions. It is ideal for enterprise-wide budget tracking across business units or regions. Subscription represents a billing boundary. It is useful for teams managing specific projects or departments with their own Azure resources. Resource Group is a logical container for related Azure resources. Perfect for budgeting by application or environment such as development, staging or production. Budgets apply only to the selected scope and everything underneath it. So pick the label that gives you the visibility and control you need. Let me cancel this. Step 3. Create a new budget. Click on Add. You can also use additional filters to have your budget monitor with more granularity as needed. Create a budget name and set up your billing and reset period. You can choose the time frame as monthly, quarterly or annually depending on your desired level of cost granularity. Provide a meaningful budget name. For example, Dev and we monthly budget. Select the monthly reset period from the option. Define the active time period for the budget. For this example, we will set the active time period for the budget to one year from July 1st, 2025 to June 30, 2026. Now enter your budget limit. For example, enter 250. Click next to configure budget alerts for actual cost and forecasted budget alerts. Azure budget alerts are automated notifications that trigger when your cloud spending reaches a predefined threshold. Budget requires at least one cost threshold and a corresponding email address. You can optionally include up to five thresholds and five email addresses in a single budget. When a budget threshold is met, 
email notifications are normally sent within an hour of the evaluation. Actual cost budget alerts are generated for the actual cost accrued in relation to the budget thresholds configured. Forecasted alerts provide advanced notification that your spending trends are likely to exceed your budget. The alerts use forecasted cost predictions. Alerts are generated when the forecasted cost projection exceeds the set threshold. Let me add actual and forecasted threshold. From the drop down menu, choose actual and then specify the percentage of budget. Let me specify the value 50. Again, select actual and this time I'm going to specify the percentage to 80. Then next, again I'm going to select actual and let's specify the value 100. Let's do the same for forecasted. Keep in mind that the actual cost reflects real time usage that has already been incurred while the forecasted cost is a predicted spend based on historical trends. Now provide one or more email addresses where notification emails should be sent. Add azure-no replay at microsoft.com to your approved senders list so that notification emails don't go to your junk email folder. Select your preferred language for receiving the alert emails for all the recipients provided above. When you are ready, click create to create an azure budget and cost alerts using the settings you have configured. Wait for a few seconds. It takes a few seconds to create a budget. The budget was created successfully. Azure will begin monitoring spending against the defined budget and notify the assigned recipients once thresholds are reached. To view or edit existing budget, click on budget name. Review the settings. To edit the budget, click on edit budget. You cannot modify the budget details, but you can change the budget amount. Let me change the value from 250 to 500. Click next. Modify the alert conditions and alert recipients as needed. Once you are done, click save to apply the changes. You can use the same steps to configure budget and cost alerts at the subscription or resource group level. In global search bar, search subscription. Click on subscription name. Expand cost management and then click on budget. Now click on add button. I'd like to show you another feature. Give name taste and put amount 100. Click next. Here we have one more option, name action group. The action group can perform various actions when your budget threshold is met. You can receive mobile push notifications when your budget threshold is met by enabling Azure app push notifications while configuring the action group. Action groups are currently only supported for subscription and resource group scopes. In the next video, we will learn how to create and configure an action group to trigger actions when a budget threshold is reached. This concludes our video on configuring budgets and cost alerts in Azure. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.